Yo, is this shelf, like, curved? Does that look curved to you? Yo, what's going on YouTube? Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel. And in this video today, I'm gonna be cleaning a variation of a shoe that I absolutely love. And that shoe is the Air Max 90 Infrared, and the variation of the shoe that I'm gonna be cleaning is the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro in the infrared colorway. Yo, th this is insanely dope. Like, you cannot do any wrong with this particular colorway. Not necessarily on this model, but this like color blocking, perfect. And I'm extremely excited to clean the shoe because it's going to come out looking pretty much brand new. Cause the actual wear on the shoe is not that bad. The majority of the stars are still on the toe. And honestly, like it's filthy, don't get me wrong, but it just looks like it's been worn maybe a handful of times. But you know that there's absolutely no way whatsoever that this is going to come through the doors of the shop and despite how dirty or how clean it is or whatever it needs done, I'm gonna film it. So let's take a proper look at the shoe and see exactly what we're gonna be cleaning today. All right, so I dropped the exposure down and I'm like, I'm not even 90% positive. I am a thousand percent positive that all of this right here is not supposed to be black. Like that is supposed to be white threading and we are going to be doing our best, not even our best, we're just going to make that completely coke white again. Now aside from the threading being completely filthy and just brown, we're obviously gonna be cleaning the entire shoe. So the actual toe box of this is looking super dusty, kind of like someone just stepped on this guy's shoes. Taking a look at the other shoe, I'm pretty sure that you guys can see just how filthy it is. You got this little mark right here. Now this is not the shoe that we're gonna be cleaning, but just to compare the bottoms so you guys can see, the outsole of the shoe that we're not cleaning in this video is way worse than the one that we're actually gonna be cleaning, but it's gonna make for some pretty good before and afters. So pretty much the shoe is just gonna be getting a deep clean. It's exactly what it needs. And honestly, the more I look at the shoe, the more I really appreciate it because this is actual suede. Because I know that the regular Air Max 90 infrareds, aside from like the special editions or the history of air or anything like that, don't use actual suede. They're rocking up to the event trying to pass felt off for actual suede. But this is so nice, man. It's so soft and even on the swoosh, it's real suede. So actually now that I'm thinking about it, I've got to worry about this actually bleeding. Because as you know, this is the actual color of suede. It's just normal gray. This dark gray right here, that's actually a suede that's been dyed. And if you use too much water or water that's just too hot, that will all bleed out. And another thing you have to worry about with a pair of shoes like this is the leather bleeding into the mesh. So I'm gonna be very picky with with the actual temperature of the water that I'm gonna be using. And I'm also gonna be very picky with the actual products that I'm gonna be using. So before we do that, let's take one more 360 degree view of the shoe so you guys can see exactly how dirty the shoe is before we start cleaning it. Get the heel and the bottom, and let's get into the products that I'm gonna be using in order to clean this shoe. All right, first things first, we're obviously going to be using the Sneaker Laundry Sneaker Stain Remover. I use this stuff on literally every single clean that I do inside of the shop. What you're gonna wanna do is pop the top off like I just did and just start spraying the shoe down. And don't be afraid to be extremely generous with how much of this stuff that you use because you don't have to worry whatsoever about ruining any material. And this is gonna be a good example with this dyed suede right here. You guys can see I will put it directly on there and that's not gonna lose any of its color. And you can see this side is not saturated, this side is. Gonna spray the bottoms down and the entire midsole, make sure that this threading turns out nice and white. And once this has sat on the shoe for about three to five minutes, I will then be moving on to giving the shoe a good scrub. Now in order to do that, I'm gonna need a sneaker cleaner. So I'm going to be using the Sneaker Laundry's Organic Sneaker Cleaner. And honestly, there's really not much that I need to say about this. All you wanna do is pop the top, get a bowl of room temperature or warm water, and spray about two or three squirts of this directly into the bowl. Now once you've got that done, you can put the top back down and you wanna grab a series of brushes. So the first brush that I'm gonna be using is an absolute weapon. It is going to make the thread on these completely white within minutes. And that brush is the Sneaker Laundry Soul Brush. So this brush right here, you guys have heard me talk about this so much but it's got short bristles and they're extremely stiff. So in other words, it works into the rubber outsole extremely well. I have gotten so many good results with this brush right here that I honestly don't even know what else that I can say about this brush to try and convince you to go out and get it yourself. Rubber outsoles and midsoles, don't stand a chance against this brush whatsoever. So once I'm done cleaning the bottom of the shoe and the threading on the midsole with this brush right here, I will then be moving on to using the Sneaker Laundry's all-purpose black bristle brush. That was way too not smooth. Not smooth at all. And just so you got... Got 
Been dealing with this all day. All day long, trying to film a video. People just driving around with their alarms on. Cool. No, like literally, can you hear that? Someone got in their car, their alarm went off, and they just drove it. They just drove away with their alarm on. Like, what? And just so you guys are aware, this brush right here actually lives up to the name that we've given it. So in other words, this can be used on all materials. The bristles on this brush are extremely soft, and it's not going to damage or fray any of the shoes that you clean this with. Now I know for me personally, when I first started getting into cleaning sneakers and the whole restoration thing, there was a particular brand with a particular brush and the all purpose brush looked like this as far as the actual length of the bristles go, but the color of the bristles were this color. Now for anyone that's been cleaning shoes for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about, but the point that I'm trying to make is that whenever I tried to actually clean my infrareds using that brush, it just ripped up the mesh. This brush right here is not going to do that to you. And to prove my point, I'm going to be cleaning the entire upper of this shoe using this brush right here, just to show you guys that it will not damage any material whatsoever. So if you wanna get your hands on any of the products that I just showed you, then head on over to www.thesneakerlaundry.com.au and be sure to use my discount code at checkout to save yourself 10% off of your entire order. X Chase Machini is going to save you 10% off of your entire order over at thesneakerlaundry.com.au and if you are in Australia and you spend 30 or more dollars after my discount code has been applied, then you my friend are going to receive free shipping on your entire order. Yo, I just smacked the sh out of my camera, but that does not change the fact whatsoever that if you spend 30 or more dollars after my discount code has been applied, that you're gonna receive free shipping on your entire order within the country of Australia. So with all that being said, I am wasting a lot of time right now and I am going to jump straight into cleaning these shoes. So if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna get going.